When working inside of Houdini, you sometimes need to connect points together, whether it be to procedurally model something or to create something like this, where it's sort of like a plexus type of effect that you can find in After Effects. And to know how to do this is extremely useful to know how to do. It gets a little bit more complex when you want to connect multiple points together, as you see here with multiple connections coming out of each individual point, because you can't just use a simple add sop like you could if you just want to connect them all together. So we're going to go over how we can easily do this right now. So first off, we just need to create a geometry and I'm going to hide that and jump in here. So first thing that we need to do is create our point field. The way we're going to do this is I'm just going to create a box, drop that down. I'm going to scale this up and I've also set the background to black and disable the grid just so you can see if you want to know how to do that, just hit D and then go over to the grid, turn that off. And then the background, you can set it to dark and then you got what I got right here. So from here, once we've created our box, we need to get some points out of it. So we're going to create a volume or sorry, a points from volume. And we'll see that. And as you can see, it's super dense to start off with, which is not what we want. So we need to change this point separation. I'm going to set it to something like 2.4, maybe give us some points, but not too many. And then I'm also going to change this jitter scale right here just to give our points a little bit of randomization. So from here, we need to connect them. And the way that we would do this, if we just want a single line connecting all of them was to use an add stop. So if we wire that up and then set the display flag, if we type into the polygons tab, zero dash dollar sign in. So this is 0 0.0 to the last point number. You can see that we create this sort of an effect, but if we were to just duplicate this down, it doesn't change anything if we want to add multiple lines coming out of different points. So how do we go about doing that? So we're going to use an attribute wrangle for that attribute wrangle. And we'll wire this up, set the display flag. And then from here, we're going to have to do a little bit of X. It's just one line, not too difficult. So we're going to add a primitive. And then from here, once you type in the parentheses, you can see kind of what it all needs. So we're going to use the first parameter is going to be geo self because we want to affect the geometry uh, or put the geometry onto each of these points. And then we're going to use a polyline. So we'll type in polyline in your parentheses. And then from there, we want to use at PT num. So whatever point number that we are at, and then we're going to use at PT num plus, whoops, plus one, and then add our ending parenthesis and our colon. And then this creates the exact same thing that this add node did. So if I set the display flag between these two, you can see nothing's changing. So that's great, but how to add multiple uh, lines coming out of each of these. So we're gonna just copy this same line of code and we're gonna duplicate it a couple times. And then we're just gonna change this PT num plus number. So let's set it to something like uh, three and then maybe something like five. And then once we click out of here, you can see that we've added our other lines coming out of the different points. So now what if we want to go back to what we have sort of right here with these points on top of our actual points or the balls on top of our points. So we just need to create a sphere. And then we'll use a copy to points. And before we go any further, let's set the size of the sphere correctly. So let's make it a polygon and then let's set the uniform scale to like 0 0.01. That's way too small. Let's go. Maybe let's go 0.1. And how does that compare to our points? Not too bad. Our lines. Looks like it's all right. So just wire this up. Whoops. 
and drag this down. Now you can see that we have our spheres along our points. And then we actually need to create the actual wires because these are just lines that are going between the two. So we need to actually create um, wires between the or along the lines that we have. So we're going to use a poly wire node. Wire that up. And then our poly wire, let's set the wire radius down a lot smaller, maybe to something like that. And then I'm just going to crank up the divisions and the segments so they look a little bit better. And then we can use a merge node. And you can see that now we have the same sort of effect that we had going on. But if you want to animate this, you can do that pretty simply. All you have to do is if you want to have the points change, you can go up to this jitter scale and we'll just alt right click on that and we'll move forward and then change this and then we'll alt right click on that or left click me. And then if I go back and play this, you can see that it is now going to move the points and then as they move outside the bounding box, it's going to change and it's going to change how these wires are propagating between our points here, which may or may not be what you want. Let's say you don't want that. I just undo those, drag this up. If you create a jitter node, a point jitter, and we'll just wire these up real quick, you can see that as I change this uh, scale, that even as they go outside of our bounding volume here, they're not going to be deleted. Whereas if you use this points from volume, you're going to see that as we change our jitter scale here, once they reach the boundary edge, they're going to be deleted and a new point is going to be created. So if you don't want that and you just want to have all these points just moving throughout, then you can, whoops, then you can just change this jitter right here. So if we set this to zero to start off with, and we go back to frame one, alt left click and then move forward, scale it up and then replay it. You can see that we now get more of what we want. And if we go back to our merge, we start this over you can see that this is more what you want if you don't want the points to be deleted and the wires to propagate differently throughout. So it's not too difficult to set up. Um, it is a good skill to know to know how to connect lines because you can, if I go back to this and I delete some of these, let's get our single line. If I just want to create a line between two points, you can just do like the, the point number. So one and two. And then that'll give us just a line between whatever points. So if I do one in, I don't know, 20, I don't know how many points there are. You can see that it creates lines to whatever point number that we want between whatever point number that we want. We can change this to do whatever we want. So it's pretty easy to set up, um, but it is a little bit interesting to try and set it up for to have multiple lines coming out of multiple or out of the same uh, points because you can't just use this simple add node. It doesn't really work unless I'm missing something in here. But hopefully this helped you out and can help you procedurally model anything that you're looking to make that would require something like this. But if you want to learn more about Houdini or about Cinema 4D or Redshift, um, I have a bunch of other videos on my channel and some more coming in the future here. So make sure that you guys subscribe so that you don't miss any of those. I do have some more tips coming for both. So thank you guys for watching and have a good day.